Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Movie Driven and welcome to another episode of News Talk. Now today I'm actually going to speak a little bit opinion in this uh, video here. I'm not going to talk that much into the news. But what I kind of found out right now is that there are slight possibilities. Now I'm only saying slight possibilities that Hellboy 3 is not going to happen. Let me tell you why. Now the movie can cost too much to make. It may cost too much guys and you guys are just gonna have to realize that the movie business doesn't always have a fort to make the movies that they want to make. Should they give the idea away to someone else to direct the movie? Possibly. Should it work? I don't know. But Hellboy has such a plot and a huge character development story that you know a lot of effects can cost a lot of money, costumes, locations, everything can cost a bunch of money. Let me just tell you that Hellboy, the first movie, is the only Hellboy movie I've seen. Now, I remember when Hellboy 2 came out in theaters, I never got the chance to see it. So I haven't seen it since. I actually haven't seen it. I've never seen Hellboy 2. I've only seen the trailer. When I saw the first movie, I didn't see any trailers whatsoever. My dad just told me, hey, there's a movie called Hellboy. Want to watch it? Sure. I watched it, and ever since, I've been watching it several times. Let me just tell you, I liked it. I like Hellboy. It does have some slow pace sometimes, and it does have some cheesy one-liners sometimes. But hey, it's an action movie. What do you expect? I mean, it's Hellboy. I think he's kind of badass, so don't worry about that. I mean, I liked the first movie. I did like it. Uh, Hellboy 2. I, did had, I heard some mixed reviews when it came to the sequel. Uh, some people said it was absolutely epic. And others just said that it was just absolutely bullshit. And it was just crap and not worth seeing. And It's, it's ruining the storyline. It's ruining the plot. Everything is just bad. I don't know which one to believe in. So, uh, But I don't know. Just leave me a comment and tell me your opinion on Hellboy 2. If you've seen it and just try to not spoil anything, I might I might see it one day, who knows. Back to Hellboy 3 though, there's been a little chit chat over here and there. Uh, speaking a little bit about if they're going to make a third movie. Now, they did confirm it at one point. A few years back, I actually did hear from an article, or read from an article, that Hellboy 3 was confirmed to come out but they didn't have any date releases for it. All we know now is just it might not happen after all because, you know, the studio's gonna have to spend a lot more money on the actors and, you know, the entire movie, the budget is gonna be really, really big in this one. So, you know, if they're really saying that it might possibly not happen or it might happen, who knows, then you know this movie's gonna have a big budget. There was a interview with Gilmo de Toro. He has much on his plate. I mean, he's having a lot of upcoming movies to direct. So I kind of understand him if he have to like deny this movie or whatever. The third movie, it may just have a little bit ambitious for any studio to tackle. So Guillermo del Toro, he told a Latino review about this. Quote, well, a couple of weeks ago, or months ago, I did make a couple of phone calls to test. To gag the possibility of doing that because it's a big movie. There's no takers for a movie for, of that size. The two movies made their money back and a little bit. They were financially good, but one was 50 and the other one was 80. 85. This is 140. So no one wants to go with that leap. From the final in size, so unless we find a way to do the mother of all Kickstarters. End quote. Let me just tell you about that one. First of all, a lot of things he said there. I don't think it's my reading. I think it's more like what he said there. I, I just think that that really didn't make that much sense to me when I first read it. So I, I, just, I just don't know how that really made any sense. But I did understand him though a little bit. <laughs> of course, he's saying the, the money has a big budget. So they may not have a force to actually make the movie. And so doesn't any other studios out there who has a lot more movie, a uh, lot more movies, a uh, lot more money than what he has. So who knows if this guy is actually... Uh, going to make the movie or not, you know, you know, he's he's probably going to he's probably joking about it They also said he's kind of a comedian. So about the whole Kickstarter thing. I, I guess I would go back to that That's my point uh, Kevin Smith uh, He said that cl uh, clerks 3 would likely to be found that way and You know, that's already like tossing a lot of money away for the Smith's way to see the movie happen so if real if uh, del Toro really does a Hellboy 3 it would be the biggest one in history. So, 
this movie can be one of the biggest movies in history if he can actually manage to pull this movie off. And quite frankly, if this movie does get made and it comes out in theaters or DVD or whatever, I might watch it. But I'm gonna have to see the second movie first, I guess. I don't know. Maybe maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Now I don't know. I don't really know that much of how the the second movie starts. Like if you have to see the first one in order to see the second one. I did see the first one. But in case anyone else did not see the first one and wants to see the second one or something, then I don't know about that one until I've seen the second one, of course. Now I don't know about you guys, but if Hellboy three was gonna get made, would you guys watch it? I I, I would. But I would gonna have to watch the second movie first because it's kind of weird for me to watch Hellboy 1, Hellboy 3, and then Hellboy 2. It's like a really weird combination. Why not just watch 1, 2, and 3? Just simple as that. And you don't have to, you know, think of any other stress than that <laughs> when you're watching the third movie. It's like, oh, you just watched the second movie, you watched the first one, so you know what it's all about. But that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will link you guys the source for this article in the description down below so you can read it down yourself. But yeah, tell me your opinion on Hellboy, and I'll see you guys later.